You party, girl, you got it. Yeah. Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you party. You just took it off the line on my Hey y'all, it's your girl Envy Goldie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be giving you guys some more money tips, money saving tips, budgeting tips, whatever you want to call it. You guys really seem to like my how I save $10,000 working a minimum wage job video. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it up in the card. But today I'm going to be telling you guys how to save money for beginners. Like if you really don't know what to do, where to start, this video is for you. If you kind of have an idea but you still need a little bit of guidance, this video is for you. So before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend. And without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So the first step is to calculate your general monthly income, your net income, not your gross income. Your net income is how much money you're taking home after taxes are taken out. So let's say, you know, your gross is 1200 but they take out $200 in taxes. So your net, what you're actually seeing in that moment is $1,000. Then I'm gonna say, I think I said this in my other video, use the 50, 30, 20 rule. The standard 50, 30, 20 is 50% 50 of your income goes toward your needs. Your needs are things that you have to pay for and there's no way around it, like rent, utilities, transportation, healthcare, Needs are non-negotiable. So your needs are the most important things and they come first before anything else. 30% are your wants. Your wants are things that you can go without but you choose to have them such as cable or other subscriptions, vacations, eating out, getting your hair done, things like that. You don't have to have them but you would like to do that. And the 20% goes into your savings or your debt. Anything you owe, whether it's credit cards, student loans, a friend who loans you $20 the other day, like <laughs> if you owe anything any one money that comes out of your 20% now that you know the 50 30 20 rule what are you supposed to do with it I think that budgeting is the easiest when you have cash in front of you but not everyone likes to do it so I'm gonna explain it in two different ways so if you're like me and you benefit from visual things and having cash in front of you then you can use envelopes to label them and differentiate your 50, 30, and 20. This is how I started about two years ago. Seeing everything in front of me made it so much easier to budget because I knew that if I wanted to go out to eat and I only had $20 left in my 30% envelope, which is the wants, that I could decide if I really wanted to spend my last money on going out to eat or if I wanted to put it towards something else that I felt was important to me like getting my eyebrows done you know it really teaches self-control and that's a major part of budgeting if you're the kind of person who likes to have your money in a bank account because it's secure and you feel more comfortable that way that's perfectly fine but I'm gonna need you to get a notepad or a notebook or a piece of paper something that you're gonna keep track of your finances in an example of this would be let's say your net is a thousand dollars 50% would be 500, 30% would be 300, and 20% would be 200. As we just went over, the 50% would be towards your needs, the 30% would be towards your wants, and the 20% would be toward your savings and debt. This is a simple example that you won't really have to keep track of too much because the number, you know, is just so easy to work with, but you can track all of your spending on pen and paper. Just make sure that you're doing your calculations correctly because that's really important. In my opinion, this method really tests your willpower because if you have, you know, a lump sum of money in the bank, if you're sticking with your budget, kudos to you. I know for some people seeing a large amount of money in the bank, you'd be like, F that budget. I'm going to just spend my money, get my hair done, get my lashes done. You know what I'm saying? So... It really teaches self-control and tests your willpower. The good thing about the 50-30-20 rule is that you can adjust it however it suits you best. It doesn't have to be those exact 50-30-20 percentages, but in the end it has to add up to 100. So, for example, you can adjust it to 60-30-10, which could be 60 needs, 30 wants, 10 savings in debt. Or you could do 80-10-10, which is 80 needs, 10 wants, 10 savings in debt. However is best for you. It just has to add up to 100, but that's like the best thing about this. I know that when I did this method fresh out of high school when I was 18, about two years ago, I did 
I did 50% towards my savings and debt because I didn't want no debt and I wanted to grow my savings. Um, so I kind of just adjusted my wants and needs around it. And I mean, it wasn't the most fun thing, but I had a goal in mind, so I really stuck to it. I think honestly, um, however is it works for you, works for you, you know? What might work for me might not work for you, but I'm pretty sure that um, with this kind of method being that you can adjust it however it suits you i feel like this can suit everybody that's all i have to say today about money saving if you have any questions or want any more advice comment down below and i'll make a video for you guys um if you have any questions personal about your finances feel free to dm me on my instagram which will be in the description box below before you leave make sure you like comment and subscribe and tell a friend and tell a friend and i'll see you guys in my next video